inside here I've got a pack weighing measuring device. Hello. It's attached. All I have to do is lift it. Look strong for the YouTube. That's 59.5 pounds. Let, let's see. Connor, what you got over there? Come on. And then pick her up. Connor's got the camera bag too, so let's see if it's. There you go. Okay. I had 59.5. Oh, I'm only 50 point something. 51. 51 weakling. I know. A little weakling. Dang. Mm, it should still be, be pretty good. Over 14 kilometers, I'm sure we'll start to feel it on our backs. Quick little layer break. Got too toasty with the 50, 60 pound packs on. Nice weather, starting to warm up a little bit, I think. Forecast says it's supposed to get up to minus one today, which will be nice. Uh, and later on, we will share with you the story of why today we're not gonna faint. It's because the last time I was here this spring, I had a friend who actually did faint while we were biking up. It was very random, and I don't think we ever got an explanation for why it happened. Um, so yeah, we'll tell you that story. We'll show you a bit of the cave, which you can already see in this video right here. Make sure you click on that one. And uh, yeah, should be pretty good. I'm already starting to feel it in my shoulders and my hip flexors, so. I know I'm adjusting my camera system. And I think we're less than a kilometer in anyways, so. We'll see, keep you updated. Rex's crampons he lent me are working well. Making some good progress. I'd say we're about halfway to the cave at this point, roughly. Connor, how you feeling? How's the 50 pounds treating you? It was worse at the start, it's getting better. Yeah. What would you say, like, what's the worst muscle? Hip flexors or shoulders? I'd say the shoulders, actually. Okay. okay. It's gotta, gotta be the hip flexors for me right now. Uh, but we'll see, you know, it'll probably get a little better and then it'll just start to get worse. And by the end of the day, we'll just wanna get in the car. But it is good training, so I, it's kind of windy, so I don't know if you can really hear me. But uh, I'll tell that story soon enough about the fainting. All right, the wind has calmed down, so I get to tell you a little story now. Uh, so it was here, I think it was May of this year. One of the first hikes came out and did with, uh, with Rex and Brennan. We had just finished biking up this hill, heading towards the cave. Took a break just up here. And uh, we sat around for a good five minutes drinking water and snacking up because we were, you know, tired of be coming up a hill. Um, and Rex is acting kind of weird. He gets off his bike and he walks to the other side of the road and he's just sort of not talking. Looks like he's gonna lose his balance a bit. Uh, and then he does, he drops his stuff and he starts fumbling around. Just like <laughs> he's trying to stay standing, but he's about to fall over. So Brent and I rush over and we sort of catch him before he hits the ground. Luckily his head doesn't hit the ground. And then he's like partially unconscious for like five seconds max. And then he just gets up really energetic all of a sudden. And it was the weirdest thing ever because he didn't lose consciousness. He wasn't dehydrated. He'd been drinking a quite a bit that day. So we never really figured out what went on. Um, so we took him back, his parents picked him up. I forget what happened, he went to the hospital for a bunch of scans, but we never actually got an answer as to what happened to Mr. Armour. So, the question that remains is, is he a ghost? Connor, what do you think? Oh, he's definitely a ghost. Definitely a ghost, yeah. I would say he's some kind of spooky figure that's gonna creep out of the woods and attack you. Anyways, the cave is just, just up there. Up yeah, we have to go up a hill. That looks um, like it's kind of let's zoom in a little bit. It's that crack there. Um, so another couple kilometers, maybe two kilometers, and most of the uphill happens right now. Um, that was a bag feeling. Heavier. Heavier. Is it snack time yet? I'd say this is a good spot for snack. Yeah. Or should fair we get enough. to like to the bottom of the hill first? Uh, if we have a break here, we might faint. So have to. Yeah, let's go down the hill a bit. There's spooky energy over here. Act like you were walking for the shot. Coming up the hill, the crampons are making a massive difference. Absolutely incredible. No slips yet. Uh, we're not very far up yet, but you can definitely start to feel the weight for sure. 
How you feeling, Connor? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, it does kind of. Well, we'll get a nice break at the cave. How does that sound? Cool, cool. Connor's ph photographing a crow. <sighs> cool, We've reached the entrance to the cave. There's a little sunrise action going on over there. <coughs> We've been here before, so you might recognize it from another video. Um, this time, though, this time though, we brought 110 pounds of gear. So Connor's got some some plates in his pack. Kettlebell as well. I've got some dumbbells and a bunch of yearbooks from high school. And that was our little training session. The descent with these bags is going to be interesting. That's for sure. It'll be a slower process. Um, but now we get to enjoy the cave. Check it out, see if there's any ice uh, going on. There wasn't much uh, last time when we were here in the spring, but that makes sense. I'll be melting off. And then we'll kind of check out that little tight back area that uh, Brennan and I discovered last time that we were here. Oh, it looks like the crow's gone. Got a good pick? Nice. Whatever works for you. So we reached the uh, tighter section of the cave. And unbeknownst to me, Connor is a bit claustrophobic, I guess. <laughs> um, he's also concerned about a bear being inside this cave right now. Which I can't say I'm concerned about, but yeah, it's not impossible. Like he's ma he's going faster than I was. Oh, yeah, what man. is this guy on about? He says I'm scared of the tight space, and then he's freaking like. That's because I he's was. He's Cave McJagger. Look what he's doing with his legs, <laughs> dude. You had no problem with that. Well, how are you supposed to go from here? What was that, Connor? Do you crawl under that? Yes, Connor. Explain to me how you just did that so easily. I'm a pro caver. I have secrets, you know. Okay. We are going to consider the next section. How's no, that not. Connor says he only wants to do even one see section. I into the next section. It's, I swear to God, it's two, three meters max. And then it opens up into a room just like this one. Just, you want me to go first, I'll go first. But Connor, that was incredible. You were so efficient through there. Anyways, we'll see. I'll try to coax him in. Because I, I think he'll like it if we get in there. I just think he's being a little bit... Oh, there's cool eyes. There is cool ice. Plenty of photography opportunity. Do you think to stand up through this crowd? Um, um, icicles where it's too much where we get some photos. Here we are. We are at pretty much the very back. There's another five meters or so, but that's fair enough. Connor has conquered his fear at least a little bit today. I coaxed him through the first squeeze, which he did with literally no issue at all. I don't know what he was complaining about there. And then the second squeeze, again, no problem. The third squeeze, we almost didn't make it, but I just had to show it to him, and he realized it was wider than he thought. And now we're here. And before you comment, yes, we should be wearing helmets. And yes, we did learn that the hard way. Uh, we both had little bonks here and there. Not a mistake we'll make again. I should have brought a hel headlamp. Uh, also didn't do that. Um, and then now we, face, good, now we face a slightly sketchy descent from the cave with our big big bags on that should be even more interesting than this but connor how are you liking caves thus far i'm not impressed you're not impressed <laughs> they're so cool no they're okay they're epic it's like know. the underworld <laughs> anyways you I can agree the overworld better. my my stance on caves is pretty pretty set i am gonna hit the back real quick may as well uh, and then i'll meet you here and we can exit sound good you know what, good to see you cool cool Wait. Connor's throwing a rock. Ice. Oh, it is ice. That, that I rock. forgot. Yeah. Let's do it. That was kind of epic. There was no I echo at all. I thought it would be, thought I, I thought it would like echo. smash and it would be like a cool echo. I thought there'd be a cool echo too. Right? But, well, you just see the light from the entrance. So cool in here. Okay, so Connor and I, we achieved greatness in the cave. We return to our packs to find that Mr. Crow has ransacked the place. That thing's pretty heavy. Look how far he carried it. Wait. Oh, my God. 
That's Connor's first aid kit. The I'm orange just curious bag. what else they took. Like, I don't know what it was in there. There's going to be more stuff. Look, we got... What's that Cedar that's Summit thing? That's my lunch. That's his lunch. That's first aid kit down there. Sunglasses, jackets all over the place. Two jackets look, look here. Right the Logbook all scratched up. Savage crows, man. This zipper was they just ripped all the stuff. Wait, they undid a zipper? Yeah, this zipper was closed. They... <laughs> I guess How do they open a zipper? Wow, these are, these are advanced birds we're dealing with. Is there anything else down there? Well, all I see so far is your first aid kit. Wow, we got ransacked. We were robbed while we were in the underworld. Jeez. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Did any of your food go missing? I mean, that's probably no, what the, they would get. The sack was closed up. Okay, lucky. That sucks. Stupid birds! Check your clothes so that they didn't like yeah, let's see if it's all hacked or ripped or anything. It is dirty. It's very dirty. It's gonna need a wash. So we break out the uh, tech wash for, and that's when you watch my YouTube video on how to wash a down jacket. I've watched it, but I'm, I haven't got around to cleaning them yet. There's a stain. That can't be from them. It's gotta be me. Yeah, I don't see any rips, just dirt. Um, jacket looks okay. I just saw your first aid kit so far. Gloves look fine, they wouldn't be. Oh, this thing is really dirty. Look at that. Damn. That's ridiculous. I didn't realize how OP those birds are. Yeah, plenty of dirt, but nothing too bad. Well, that's interesting. Are you still Yep. That's an experience I've never had before. Yeah. Wow, okay. We've been. Uh... We saw him here too, like that. Yeah, we were taking pictures of him and appreciating his uh, different noises he could make, and now look how he repays us. Did they say like crows never like forget a face or something? Oh, really? They might be cursed forever. Wow. Okay, robbed by crows. I guess could be the new thumbnail, maybe. Whatever's more clicky. Um, but yeah, all I see is your first aid kit so far. Yeah. Guess we'll see on our way down, won't we? I think that's disappointing. So we're closing in on the end of our hike. Uh, now it's time to tell you why we're carrying all this crap with us. It's because we're going on an 11 day ski tour at the end of April. Um, it's 120 kilometers distance, just under 10,000 meters of elevation gain from uh, Bugaboo Provincial Park to uh, Rogers Pass, British Columbia. Uh, so it should be pretty fun. It's kind of a learning experience for us. We're getting into the ski mountaineering. So we're gonna learn about glacier travel, maybe get to do some summits, the guide said. Uh, we'll also learn how about crevasse rescue. It should be pretty fun. So Connor and I are here training, but our third group member, Rex, is being lazy. But I mean, Solid in all fairness, Connor and I did leave a trace today when our food bags were attacked by a crow. So we, fault, we may have to this. give up on the outdoors entirely because we've dishonored Mother Nature. And I'll admit, we did throw some rocks at the bird after. Oh? No. Yeah. Unsuccessful, though. Anyways, no closing in on the car. In the filming of this video. Closing in on the car. So we'll say goodbye to the vlog for now. We'll talk to you later.